Hi all. Today we are going to look into query and batch get item operation AWS connector mule prerequisite. We need to have an AWS account, any point studio installed, either Postman or any client to validate the points. What is DynamoDB? DynamoDB is a fully managed no SQL database service from Amazon that provides a fast and predictable performance in database tables that can store and retrieve the data. For this demo, I have created a demo Dynamo DB in my AWS account as follows. Here, ID is nothing but the primary key, SK is nothing but the sorting key, and I have few other three columns by name, branch, name, and subject. Once you have your Dynamo DB ready, let's get into the Amazon DB connector in my studio. You can include the Amazon DB connector either in the mule from the mule palette or adding the Maven dependency in your form.xml. Once you have the Amazon Dynamo DB connector available, let's see how we can configure Amazon Dynamo DB configuration. Here is my Amazon Dynamo DB configuration where I require the access key, secret key and the region which you are trying to connect. Access key and secret key will be available in your Amazon DynamoDB connection, which is over here. You need to get into your account. And click on your security credentials where it will open a window of this identity and access management. Here you need to go under access keys. Click on create a new access key if you are new. Once this is done, you'll be getting a key value pair which you can add it over here and give it as connection. Once the connection is successful, we can go ahead and start our development. Let's look into our flows. I have a two flows where first flow demonstrates the query operation and second flow demonstrates batch get item. Let's look into query. As the name suggests, the query operation finds all items based on the primary key. We can query any table in this. Let's look into the details needed to create an query operation. We need and general information, query parameters, and the basic settings. In the basic settings, we'll be providing the configuration which we have created. Let's come from bottom up. Query parameters. Query parameters consist of attribute name and attribute value. I'm providing both attribute name, attribute value as an expression. And my expression looks like this. And in the key condition under the general section, here also I'm providing an expression where ID is equal to ID value. The hash ID is nothing but the whatever the hash ID I have provided in the attribute name. Colon ID value is nothing but the whatever the value I have provided in the ID value. Once this is done, this is how my response I'm constructing payload dot items followed by I'm retrieving all the values. Here I'm retrieving id followed by dot s dot s stands for the string let's check the endpoint this is how my get student by id endpoint looks like where i'm passing the student id and this is how my response looks like for the student what is the student name and what end all the subjects that student has the end row okay now let's come into the batch get item. In order to have invoke the batch get item, we need to have a value pair of an ID and SP. Batch get item, as the name suggests, is an operation that returns the attributes of one or more items from one or more tables. We can identify the response with the help of the primary key which we have used. This is how batch get item payload looks like we need to have the dynamo db name followed by the keys 
This is nothing but the ID and SK. ID is key and the value for that is uh, I'm providing it as a string. This item is nothing but the whatever I'm I'm using in the map. Okay. Here comes the SK. SK is nothing but this is also an string as I have declared all those two as a string. And I'm converting this I into an object and the class I'm providing it as an org.mule.extension.dynamodb.api.model.attribute value. These things are available under your Mule Amazon DB connector where it has a, the extension followed by the classes where the object needs to be converted. Batch get item. This is how the description or the configuration of the batch kit item looks like. In the general, request items, I'm providing it as an expression and passing the payload. The payload is nothing but the whatever we created here. And the response, I'm extracting it from the responses dot based on the DB name. I'm pulling out the response. This is how the ID looks like. Um, I'm pulling, taking out the subject branch here. I'm providing is a dot s because I have created all this as a string. Let us see how this looks like. This is what my request looks like. I'm providing the student ID as an array and followed by the student code as a string. This is how my response looks like. So for a student uh, with ID 002, it is having the subject docker for the subject code to and the branch is information size. Similarly, ID 001 is having the subject mule uh, for the subject code to and the branch is computer science. That's all with this demo. Now you can have this code from my Git repo.